Yeah, I've had a little Google. Yeah. yeah. And you've got it completely wrong. Have I? Well, you tell me and show me where it's legal then. Show me. Come on. Right then guys, welcome to another instalment of Northern Audits and today we're going to take a look at DH Stainless. Now this looks like another one of those um, kind of crowded yards with all sorts of products out on the um, on the um, yard itself. Um, about us, DH Stainless are the leading UK suppliers of stainless steel tube pipe and fitting stockists. We have an impressive record in both the UK and overseas projects. So we have a breadth and depth and experience rarely found or seen elsewhere. So yeah, that's the um, uh, the bump, the usual bump that we do. Um, so basically, um, at the end there, you can kind of see all the products stacked on the yard. And then what I'm going to say is the um, the DH there, I wonder whether that's stainless as well because it does look like a nice polished sign. So um, what we'll do is, there's not much to see from the ground, I wonder whether there's um, anything else on the other side. But if there's not much more to see, it's pointless, we might as well just get the drone over and have a look. I've done a move a bit further back because I'm looking for a place to actually fly from. Um, we do seem to be crowded in kind of trees and stuff so it's... Hey, you? hey you alright? Yeah, what, what, what are you taking pictures of? Um, just DH in the building and the yard Hi. and stuff like that, I just... Hi. Oh, just, uh, just, just social media basically. Social media? Yeah, yeah, I don't know, do, do a bit of a video and stuff like that and then um, I've got my drone with me so what I do is I fly over yeah. um, and just take some aerial shots as well so Hi. I've got kind of the ground shots and the, I just said... <laughs> yeah, well, Everybody else? Um, today I'm looking well, at DH. It would have been nice asking permission. Sorry, what? It would have been nice if you asked permission to take photographs of our site. Why would I ask permission? Because we've had various sites around here burgled. Oh, right, because burgled. Well, I'm not a burglar anyway, well, don't worry about that. But what well, I'm saying if is. Taking, if you're taking pictures of our site and you're sending drones over, then it would have been courteous to ask for something. Oh, yeah, but that, do that. that doesn't make sense though, does well, it? It does when we've got, we've got all that stock outside. Oh, oh, you're worried about that? Well, I'm, I'm not I'm not here to oh, steal out like that. I know you're from Adam. I know, that's right. Yeah, but um, what I'm saying is, um, when when your argument about asking doesn't make sense yeah, well, because... Why, would you like if I come round to your house and start a video and taking pictures in front of your house? I just so closed you, my curtains. So your you battery would run out. <laughs> right, well, do you mind if you stop? No, no, I've, that's what I've, I've come here today to, to get the... To, to just take some ground images yeah, of the building and fly you, over. What are you going to do with this social media stuff? So you're going to have to take pictures of it and then stick it up on the social media and stuff like that. Well it depends how the video goes you see so if it's if it's a nice building from the air and stuff yeah. you know that's um for what? Well that, that's it really what's people like to so. what's the purpose of it? Well, I, I just said literally that I, I don't want to kind of get into everything I've literally just give you a bit of, a bit of an overview of what I'm doing. But it, it dodgy. it's not dodgy. It it's not but it's it's completely legal. Um so I literally what I do is I just fly over get the shots and stuff. Oh, the, you know everybody else then? No, it's DH that just came... Just DH? Why just DH? Well, it, it, I don't, can't imagine any of that would look good on the, any of the others. I think you've it to me. Well... Yeah, so it's off. Or I'll call the police. Come That's that. really rude, is that? Yeah, well, I'll piss off or I'll call the police. You piss off. You want me to call the police then? Oh, fine. Call well, the police. Why would you call the police? Because you're targeting our business and nobody else's. Your attitude sticks. That it's, it's just ours that's interesting you and you dress like that your attitude stinks right, absolutely stinks yours, 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 yours ain't that good either there we go a few pictures of you as well shall we there we go there you go <laughs> um, just before you call the police what are you going to tell them there's somebody acting suspiciously inside our property all right okay well um I don't think there's a lot they can do anyway, to be honest with you, the police. Yeah. 
I'm nearly done anyway. I've only got another like 10 minutes worth of drone to do, and then that's it. I'll be gone. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, you? Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, it's all right, don't worry about it. I'm just about to fly anyway, so I'm, I'm, I can't talk to you now because I'm going to be flying a drone. All right, mate. See you in a bit. See you later, take care. Is that the law? There's not a law about the internet, you know what I mean? I think I think what you've done is you've had a little Google. Yeah, I've had a little Google. Yeah. yeah. And you've got it completely wrong. Have I? Well, you tell me and show me where it's legal then. Show me. Come on. Well, I'd, I'd rather not get too close because you seem a bit angry, but um. <laughs> the drone um, should not be used to obtain images of a person or their private property without their permission. That's okay. off drone safe. Okay, right. Um, can I just explain to you? Um, I. The weight of the drone matters when you're looking at the law of, of flying drones, yeah? Right. If the drone is less than 250 grams, which mine is, yeah. then I'm allowed to fly it, any, fly it I, anywhere. You've told me all that, but why us? Why DH stainless? What's so interesting about us? The, the largest stainless steel pipe supplier in the UK, or one of the largest steel... Yeah. Is that not interesting? Yeah, and what are you going to do with the information? You put it on social media to do what? For whose benefit? Well... Who's benefit? Even though you were rude to me earlier, I'll just expand on it a little bit more. I'm doing a drone show of the building, basically. So it's, um, basically, I fly over, um, I get I get the shots, and then I put some music behind it, and I just play it. This building looks in the area of the in this area. This building looks impressive from the air, basically. Right. So you've already been over it. No, no. Google Maps. Where do you know? Google Maps. Right. Google Maps have been over. My drone's no different, really, to Google Maps. Yeah, but you see, I'm. I'm you know, we've got a lot of competition. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. So, for all I know, mm. you could just be flying over there to see what we've got here. Yeah, that Stuck is the in. thing, isn't it, I suppose. Um, but uh, that is that is just, that is just the way just it is. We've been through a lawsuit as well with somebody. You have? Oh, yeah. oh, I have nothing to so, do with that. I know that, yeah, but yeah. that's why we get on very on edge yeah. when we see a guy turn up. I haven't just done DH you know, ever. You know, but, you know what I mean? Wouldn't it have been a lot better if you'd have just come in and said, look, this is what I'm doing? Does it do you mind doing it rather than stand outside looking really shady with a bloody drone? Well, you don't think that's better? Well, the, the, the problem is, I mean, I'm trapped in up between two places, trapped between a rock and a hard place with that because what I do is I record all the interactions because when I do something like this, sometimes people phone the police and they lie to the police. They'll say I've been swearing at them or I've been aggressive or something like that. Um, so what I, camera, yeah, the, that's, what I, that, the, that's what I mean. I've got the camera, so I have to have the camera rolling when I do when I do this kind of stuff. So if I walked into your reception with a camera and filmed your receptionist and, and your staff, assuming you're the boss, I'm not, that wouldn't be fair, would I'm it? Not the boss. You're not the boss. But anyway, so it wouldn't be fair for me to walk into somebody's building without asking and film them, would it? That's what I, that's what, that's the way I see it anyway. Well, no, the way I see it, you walk into reception like most people do, cold callers. Just walk in, mm. introduce himself, a business card. Can I see the? Can I see somebody? And you, they, we, we have loads of call callers, not wearing masks, not wearing glasses. Well, I um, the thing is, not, the with, th with, not with videos. That's you're a first. Well, uh, exactly. So the the videos. In and you have, your, you have your card. You say, look, I'm here doing this. Da da da. da. Do you mind if I just? I'm just going to stand outside, minding my own business. And I mean, you could have done it. You could have done it from down there under being senior. Oh, I have to keep, part of the law is you have to keep visual line of sight of the drone, so if I were down there flying over, um, I wouldn't have what's... You could have done it from the road, we wouldn't have seen you, but for some reason you stood right plonking front of us. It's, it's to get keep visual line of sight of the drone. <laughs> the guy's still on the phone over there, um, I don't know if he's... The police are actually coming or not. Um, but um, yeah, that guy's still filming me. If you have a look, he's, um, he's got his arm around that lamppost there, holding a phone. Um, 
still filming me. <laughs> he's stood out for ages filming me. Um, there's a lot of people out now as well. The gang is growing. Um, but um, I've just done part of the drone flight. I've got to nip round the other side to get the rest of the shots so I can keep visual line of sight. Right then, guys, we do have a development at this site. Um, the police have just shown up and drove in. So um, the police are there now talking to that guy that told me to <coughs> off. And. Hey, uh, you're right. Yeah, how's it going? going on <laughs> nothing really don't get too close because i know you guys just slap cuffs on straight away no, don't no, you no, no, no. Nah, i'm only kidding i know you won't do that no. won't you? um yeah i just came over to D dh today just to have a quick look um just flying over with my drone just had a flight um got some um images um and i need to go around the back now to fly over and get some more um and then that's it really just filming on the ground flying across but is there any particular reason yeah, I told them that. I just told them. I told them. I told them what I'm doing it for. Did, did they tell you that I told you? Told them. Well, I told them what we're doing. Did they tell you? Said it something about social media. Yeah, that's it. That's here you go. Right. Okay. Um, how are you? I mean, where is this drone now? Oh, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, well, I, I just got it in my backpack at the moment. Um, I need to go further back around that way to um, to get some shots from the back, and then um, that's it. Really, I'll be kind of finished then. Right. Okay. Well, I don't think they'll let me through. I don't oh no, I'm not going to walk through their land. I won't do that. I'm going to go around the back onto the road. All right. Okay. Right. Just from their point of view, they're just concerned about safety and security. All right. Okay. But um, I ain't got a lot of power with a drone, as you probably know. So yeah, yeah, not yeah. A lot I can do about it, and all I can ask you is if you could. Is, is the just sorry gone? All I can ask you if you can maybe move on, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, I mean you can ask out, but literally I'm, I'm here till I finish what I'm doing, you see, but um, that's it really, because I'm in public, um, you know what I mean? Just, I know, I know, just, yeah. I know, I know, I get it. Is there just you here today? Or? Well, there's other patrols in Accrington, yeah. Oh, right, well, just, I mean, you, you, just you in the car, you're not, in, you're, not with a, you're not in a two? No, no, just me. Oh, just you, okay then, no, that's, that's alright then. I thought there might be two, you see. He's always, they always turn up more banded. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But yeah, they always turn up in twos, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't seem like you're causing any trouble. Um, like I say, just from their point of view, it's a bit of a security um, concern. Mm. What did you tell them? Did you just say that, that there's not a lot we can do? I uh, just said I'd come have a word with you, see what we're going on. Yeah. Offer them a bit of peace of mind, maybe, but... Yeah? Okay, uh, then. Yeah. I'll go have a look. Okay, cheers. She looks like she's really going back to base there. <laughs> look. Nah, she was quite nice, that's the one, just the, um, I know, um, you guys are going to say, she didn't ID, she didn't ID, but, yeah, um, I don't normally pull them up on it unless they're actually being, um, RC and stuff, if you know what I mean, so if, um, um, if, if, if she'd have been like, um, go away now, um, I'd have done the ID, but, um, yeah, I could see her, but I'm not that bothered about, um, knowing who she is, as long as she's not, um, trying to infringe on my rights. That guy looks absolutely gutted now, look. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, um, he's, he's thinking, why did I call the police? Why can't the police do anything about this man standing in public filming? I'm not hanging around now. All I'm doing is just waiting for the police car to go because we need to wait till they go, don't we? I, can't, wish, I could, wish I could hear what they're saying. 
I don't think even my directional mic would pick that up. She's getting back in the car now. Guys, this is really weird because she's come to say that they can't really do anything. Um, and she's come to just have a quick word with me. She's been parked in there for absolutely ages. So, I'm kind of waiting for them to leave. I've been waiting absolutely ages. You'd think they'd have like some patrols to do or something, wouldn't you? Still waiting. It's got to be a good five minutes that they've, um, that they've been waiting, sat in the car, that the lass has been sat in the car. I think the engine's running too. <laughs> well guys, when you um, ring up, you've been burgled or something like that, um, I've got a question why I've been waiting here for about 10 minutes for this lady to leave. She has literally been sat in that car in that car park for absolutely ages. And there she goes in the Skoda. Hopefully she goes. I thought she was stopping then. <laughs> and there we go. Um, yeah, that took absolutely ages for her to leave then. Guys, do me a favour, make sure you're subscribed. Just have a look now and just click that button for me, please. So this is Northern Audits. Time to fly!